Today I'm going to show you how to use MetaMask. I've just gone through this process myself and set up my MetaMask wallet so I thought it would be useful to show you the process. MetaMask is a free browser extension that allows you to interact with the Ethereum blockchain so you can use various decentralized applications. So for example, you can manage multiple Ethereum based cryptocurrency wallets to transfer and swap cryptos. You can access decentralized finance services. You can buy NFTs or take part in play to earn blockchain games. MetaMask is a hugely popular and trusted browser extension and mobile app. It's really easy to set up and I'll show you the process now. So if you go to metamask.io and click on download now. MetaMask is available on these supported browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Brave and Edge. I'll show you how to install it on Chrome. Just click install MetaMask for Chrome. This will bring you to the Chrome web store. Now let me just check that everything is official. MetaMask, yep, 10,000, no, that's 10 million users. It's a very popular app. Click on add to Chrome. Now click add extension. It will now start downloading. Then MetaMask has been added to Chrome. Use this extension by clicking on this icon or by pressing Alt, Shift and M. As you can see, the icon appears in your toolbar. Welcome to MetaMask, connecting you to the Ethereum and decentralized web. Let's get started. Now, because this opened up a new tab, the icon in the browser has disappeared. So what I would do is click on this puzzle symbol for extensions, go to where it says MetaMask and on the right hand side, it's got a pin symbol. I'll just pin that to my browser so I have quick access. Now I have two choices. I can import a wallet or create a new wallet. What I'm going to do is create a new wallet. Then I'll agree to this, but you don't have to. Here you create a password to access your MetaMask account within your browser. This password allows you to unlock your local MetaMask account on your browser. However, if your computer crashes or if you are somehow unable to access your MetaMask, this password will not help you gain access to your funds from another machine or after a crash. For this, you need your 12 word secret recovery phrase, also known as a seed phrase. This seed phrase is essential and allows you to gain access and restore your MetaMask account on any machine. Here's a brief overview of what your secret recovery phrase is. It's a 12 word phrase. Make sure you save it somewhere safe. I'm just going to write it down on a piece of paper, probably three pieces of paper and keep them stored in a folder in multiple locations. So if I lose one or one gets damaged, I have another one. I'm not going to put it anywhere that can be accessed digitally, but you can put it in a password manager like they recommend. So here they're, just, they're showing you your secret recovery phrase. So these are 12 words that you use that you can recover your account with. Make sure you go through the process and write this down in order. It has to be in order. Basically, if someone has these 12 words, they have your MetaMask money. So once that's saved, you need to confirm your secret recovery phrase. So it will present the words to you and you have to put them in the order they were given to you. So you just click on these one by one. So there you go, you passed the test. Here's some more tips on storing it safely. Then click all done. Here's a what's new message. We are making transactions easier to read. So here we have your MetaMask wallet. From here you can buy, send or swap your crypto funds. The first thing you would want to do is add funds to your wallet. Because MetaMask is principally an Ethereum wallet, you need to add Ether to your account. You can copy your MetaMask Ethereum address here to receive Ether. Alternatively, you can click on the three dots, then account details, and you can see the QR code of your public address 
and the full address underneath. You can send Ether from an exchange or wallet to this address to add funds to your MetaMask account. A lot of people would buy Ether on an exchange like Coinbase, Binance or Crypto.com and then transfer it to this address. Another way to add funds to your account is by buying it directly on MetaMask. I'll show you that in a sec. Firstly, I'll just rename the wallet because you can have multiple wallets within your MetaMask account. This will help you stay organized. Now, in order to buy Ether directly within MetaMask, just click buy. You'll be presented with different purchasing options on this screen. This may differ depending on which country you are in. At the bottom, you can directly deposit Ether from a wallet you already have. If we click on wire, you can see you can purchase ETH directly with a credit or debit card. Take note of the fees if you plan on making many transactions. These costs can add up. Another feature MetaMask has is the ability to swap cryptos. So if you have Ether, you can swap for another token. So enter the amount of ETH you want to swap, then select the token you want. Once you select another crypto to swap to, a useful message appears underneath saying it is verified on 10 sources. This is important because if it is not verified, then it could be an untrustworthy token. The slippage tolerance is the pricing difference between the price at the time of confirmation and the actual price of the transaction. If the slippage of your order is higher than the slippage tolerance set, the order will not go through. You can change the currency settings by clicking your profile picture, then clicking settings. Here you can change your currency conversion and primary currency. If you click on advanced and scroll down, you can turn on advanced gas controls. This lets you manually set your gas fees on the confirmation screen. The more you pay, the faster your transaction. Contacts is another useful feature in the settings. You can add addresses you trust and label them so you know where funds have come from or where you can send them to. So you can add your Binance or Coinbase address in here. If you ever lose your recovery phrase, you can reveal it here as long as you still have the password to log into your MetaMask. MetaMask was developed to work with the Ethereum blockchain but you can also connect it to any Ethereum compatible network or EVM, Ethereum Virtual Machine. These include Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche and Phantom. I'll quickly show you how to connect to the Avalanche network. It's fairly simple. Firstly, you just need to grab all these details from the official Avalanche website then paste these details into the relevant fields in your MetaMask. So I'll just quickly copy and paste these one by one into the relevant fields. Once that's done, click save and you'll see that ETH has changed to AVAX. Now when you click on the drop down, you'll see you are connected to the Avalanche network. You can easily switch back by clicking on Ethereum mainnet. Now you are set up and have a good understanding of how to use MetaMask, what exactly can you do with it? Well, assuming you have funds in your account, you can buy NFTs. The most popular marketplace for NFTs at the moment is OpenSea. You can buy all sorts of digital art here. For example, you have Crypto Skulls. World of Women. Let's have a look at Crypto Skulls. This isn't exactly my cup of tea, but if you did want to purchase one of these, you can filter the results by Buy Now and then click on Buy Now, which should appear once you hover over it. Here it will ask you to connect to a wallet. Click on MetaMask and enter your password if you are not already logged in. If you are, then choose a wallet to connect to. This is the one I renamed earlier. Click next and then connect. If you have funds, you can go ahead and make the purchase. If not, you can go through the process of adding funds directly within MetaMask here. 
this process is essentially the same for any blockchain app or service that is compatible with metamask so if you want to swap cryptos in uniswap you'd connect to your metamask wallet in the same way all in a browser if you have crypto funds in your metamask wallet and want to cash out you will need to move the coins to an exchange to sell for traditional currency so dollars pounds euros or whatever I'll put some useful links in the description if you want to sign up to any of the exchanges that I use. So there you go. If you found this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe and let me know if you would like me to post more crypto related content. I'll catch you in the next one.